we're gonna try to do this vinyl not update but this 25 top vinyl or albums that i own uh we're gonna start it off with ghost bats moon lover up there uh i don't want to take it off my wall it's a pain in the ass it's one of my favorite one of my favorite uh album photog photos also so we're gonna start it with that and then Let's see what else we got here that's in the goodies. Sorry, somebody was messaging me. All right. <laughs> and on with today's top. If I can get this to stay still. On with today's uh, 25 albums that I own. We'll get CDs out of the way first. Uh, band that I've had before, Clatorture. You can see that. Uh, it's self titled. Favorite songs off it are Model, Actress, Bulimic, Crack Whore. Uh, why don't, why don't Jesus die? The Great Breach Burst, Still Born Mang, Still Not Fully Dilated. Uh, Really, really good death core. Uh, death metal with the breakdowns in it. That's why I consider it death core. I, I don't consider death core to be bands like Carnifex and, uh, you know, your run of the mill, down tempo, black tongue traders. I, I, I just don't care for that style of death core. Uh, here's one that I do consider death core. Uh, that I also enjoy. This is Acacia Strain with The Dead Walk. Now, uh, this right here is one of my all-time favorite Acacia Strain albums. I, I love uh, Angry Mob Justice. Whoa, Shut It Down is one of my absolute favorite, favorite Acacia Strain songs. See you next Tuesday. Can't go wrong. Another Acacia Strain. Sorry I'm running through this. The time limit since I'm new on the channel. It doesn't let me record for that long. Uh, I really love The Beast, how it starts out. The Hills Have Eyes. Uh, very, very good death run. You know, very, very good death core. Tactical Nuke, the last song on. I think it's like a four minute or seven minutes or something like that long breakdown. Uh, a few other ones that I've showed, but of course, it's my top albums that I own that are my favorite. This is The Disciples of Berkowitz, First Press. Uh, with the songs on here that I really enjoy. Delete, Total Rejection, Gut Splattered Slut, I Hate, uh, Zyklon B, Bloodfest, Tears of Hate, Put to Bed with a Shovel, Unearthed. Next up, uh, Casey Doors Band, Ill Remembered, Hero Park. Love this. Absolutely love this album. Uh, took me forever to track it down. Uh, I would not part ways with it. My favorite songs on this are Oblivion, Stalker, Countdown to Nothing, A Thousand Points of Darkness. Absolutely love it. Now, another one of his bands that I absolutely love, again, for my top 25 albums that I own, Hard to Come Across, Section 8's Pain is Truth, Still Sealed. Uh, favorite songs off this are No One, Inferno, Chapter 11, Nightfall, of course. Absolutely amazing album. Second album of his from this band. Uh, Nine Ways Say I Love You. Broken Glass Memories, amazing song. Uh, Divinity of Loneliness. This is the begin. like, this is real New York hardcore. And your friends say that they listen to hardcore, like, throw down. And they listen to hardcore, like, Heaven Shall Burn and Caliban and bands like that. No, this is some real hardcore right here. Now, switch it up. This is not going to be in any order. This is. Right here. Jedi Mind, tr Jedi Mind Tricks, The Thief and the Fallen. This is a double LP, if I am correct. Uh, yes. It comes on this nice shade of white. Very nice shade of white. That side does. Uh... I thought his work with Amon on this album, yes, Amon, out of all people, the one that sang that song, F.U., and here's the other color on it, it's 
blue. It's a little hard to see. But yeah, uh, he was big back in the day. He was a one-hit wonder with that song "Fu." Now uh, Vinny Paz from Jedi Mind Tricks had picked him up, and I think he's doing very well with where he's at with him. I love Vinny Paz. All anything Vinny Paz has done within his rap. Here is the sound. The uh, this is the track outlay for it and the inside sleeve. Not sleeve, but the inside. Uh, Page. Trying to get it in there. It's giving me a little bit of hassle. I'm sure as I go on, I'll get more and more used to it. I'm used to taking them out one at a time, listening to them, putting them back. Uh, but yeah, that is Jedi Mind Tricks, The Thief and the Fallen. And songs I really enjoy off this are... Uh, uh, Darn, I, I took, it just, it, this just came out too. Uh, I, I, I like, uh, Fraudulent Clothes, Close. that was a really good song, uh, The God Supreme, No Jesus, No Beast, Countless Light, Countless Light was really, really good, uh, Hell's Messenger, and, uh, and God said, and God said to Cain, and God said to Cain, that was the other song that I really enjoyed. Again, I, I'm not too up with this album yet, since it just came out this year, and I just got it this past week, but if you're into real, real rap music, not that crap that they play on the radio, and you're not, it's not gonna be like Young Jeezy or... Drake or Lil Wayne or anything like that. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Lil Wayne's got a few good albums. I have a few of his. I have a few Carters and a few uh, of his mixtapes myself. But uh, geez, people messaging me today. Let's see if I can get this back standing. All right. Now next up. Hotel Books. This is Run Wild, Young Beauty. Uh, I love these songs on here. July Part 1 and August Part 2. Ten Steps Forward. Uh, love, Life, Let Go. Beautiful, amazing sounding album. Just one album. It's on this kind of a orange, if you can see it. Here is the inner part of it. I'm pretty sure they all came like this. To me, it doesn't look like they're individually signed. The it doesn't seem as if it's raised. I, would, I guess you would say, but it shows that it's uh, signed by Cam and Pen. I'm sure they just did it on one, and then from there, they copied the rest. Here's going back to some more Vinny Paz. Here's Vinny Paz's, I'm pretty sure, one of his first solo project, if not his first solo project album, uh, Seasons of the Assassin. Uh, the songs on here I absolutely love are Pistolvania, End of Days, Street Wars, Ain't Shit Changed, Nosebleed, Warmonger, Washed in the Blood of the Lamb, uh, Same Story, My Dedication. Oh, wicked good. And very thick. Very thick. Um... This one came on blue. Pretty sure that's a 180 gram vinyl. Like I said, guys, sorry, I'm trying to go fast through this because I'm new, so I don't get a lot of time. Uh, the other one is silver. Very, very thick, very beautiful. Uh, Vinny Paz, like I said, he's just one of those gangster rappers that actually has meaningful songs. Uh, that's why, again, it's in one of my tops. You can't just like metal all the time. You have to have some diversity in your life, I feel. I can't just listen to black metal. I can't just listen to hardcore. 
Here's another one of his solo projects, God of the Serengeti. I love off of this, uh, In the Blood Will Blot Out the Sun, featuring Immortal Technique and Poison Pen. Uh, Fiend Submissive, uh, which is one of the interludes. The Oracle, absolutely love the Oracle. Uh, ge uh, Geometry of Business, featuring La Coco Nostra. Uh, Fires of Prophecy featuring Tragedy, uh, Karifa, Cheese Steaks, of course, which uh, <laughs> was it was done in uh, Goblin Music Studios in Long Island. Uh, and my favorite off this is You Can't Be Neutral. You Can't Be Neutral on a Moving Train. Absolutely amazing album. Now, this is Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here. Yes, I still have the red blacking jacket on it. Comes like... Doesn't have a gatefold. It just comes the way normally, like a standard one would, except for this has got the anti-static on it. And then it also, it does come with an inner sleeve if you choose to use the inner sleeve, but it's a bitch to put in. Uh, back of it. And it comes with a postcard and a poster, but I'm not going to pull all that out because we'd be here, like I'm saying, forever. And I don't get a lot of time like you guys can to do a half hour videos. Soon though, if some of you will sh share my videos, I'll be able to get some up. I won't have to go so fast and stutter and mispronounce things. Now here's one I haven't seen people put out in a while, which I absolutely enjoy. Pissgrave, Suicide Euphoria. It's on standard black uh, vinyl from Profound Lore. Uh, I really like Blood Fog, Fields of Scattered Bones, Impaled Vibration, uh, and of course, uh, Suicide Euphoria. Back of it, the guy's looking all stern. Now we're going to get into a little bit of indie. This is Neutral Milk Hotel with in the airplane over the sea. This is uh, just a standard one. Nothing too special. It comes on black vinyl also, so no reason to take that out. Uh, but yeah, if you like shoegazy... You know, uh, indie, stoner type rock music, you'll enjoy this. I get a lot of my vinyl from uh, a place called Ye Olde Wishing Shop. They don't carry a lot of metal and stuff, but they'll carry some of some of the stuff like this. Uh, they'll carry, you know, a lot of odd stuff. Goo Goo Dolls, except, uh, you know, your run-of-the-mill stuff. I, I wish they'd carry some Counting Crows. I need to get some Counting Crows soon. Uh... Now, here's another one. Lumineers, Cleopatra. Absolutely love this album. Uh, Gale Song, Sick in the Head, My Eyes, uh, Sleep on the Floor, Gun Song. All amazing song. Every single song on this is, you know, I give this, this album a 10 out of 10. Gatefold just has the lyrics on it. This is the back of it. The next video, like I, I will be going through my whole, uh, I'll be going through A through Z. This one is really, really nice. It's smoky almost. It's got uh, like smoke, it's smokiness. Uh, it's got black, gray, all sorts in there. And again, I'm stuttering because I'm trying to go so fast to get through this. I hate having to do it, but. You guys get subs up, and I won't have to go so fast. I'll be able to spend more time on each one. Uh, shout out to uh, Worship the Pizza Gram. Sorry, man. I have not been able to get things out lately. I've been really sick. Uh, I had just gotten that thyroid test results back, and uh, I, I, so far everything's a go, but your package will be on the way out. I want to give a big shout out to Counterbeat, uh, Patrick. Voice of the Voiceless, Randy Orton fan that uh, is on this. 
I really uh, enjoyed speaking with him. Uh, of course, everyone knows Wyatt. Because of Wyatt, I know who Ghost is. This next album up, Meliora. Uh, I think everything on Meliora is spectacular. Uh, it comes with a pullout poster. It's on just black vinyl, your standard. So no reason to really take that out. Uh, favorite, again, I can't really pick a favorite. If I had to pick a favorite song, it would probably be uh, He Is or uh, Mummy Dust. I, I really don't like to pick songs off of Ghost albums because Ghost has almost all their songs are absolutely spectacular. Again, this is another album I rate 10 out of 10. I tried to pick up the brand new one, but you have to buy it with Maliora, I guess. Now to get it, you can't just buy it singly. If anyone knows where I can just get it singly, or if there's anything you guys see in here that and you guys didn't care for it that you'd want to do for trades, let me know. I know a lot of people talk a lot of shit about this band, but Def Heaven Sunbather. Uh, you guys know colors. This comes in the variants. Uh, beautiful colors. I think this is an amazing album. I don't care what anyone else really says, because again, it's my favorites uh, that I own at this particular time. Another one, Coed in Cambria and Keeping Secrets of Silent Earth 3. This is a double disc, uh, all on black, put out by Equal Vision Records. My favorite songs on this are In Keeping Secrets of the Silent Earth 3, Cuts Marked in the March of Men, Three Evils, Embodied in Love in the Shadow, The Crowing, Blood Red Summer, A Flavor, a Favorite House Atlantic. Absolutely love it. Another one of mine, Being as an Ocean's Dear God. I have every single Being as an Ocean's albums, as you will see uh, coming up in my, in my uh, A through Z's uh, updates. This one comes on another, like, uh, smokyish gray tinted color. Gold, almost, you can see. The other disc is the same exact color, so no reason to do that. This is the gatefold. I'm going for this quicker than I thought I would. But again, just like with this, some of these are hard to get on. Uh, Canyon Bickle, actually, he turned, he's the one, he didn't turn me on to this band. I, I've, I've loved this band since uh, they were around with 18 Visions and uh, Legia and bands like that and Aiden. And you'll see a bunch of that in my upcoming uh, collector updates and vinyls that I own. But this is a Atreyu. Without him, I would never have known that they pressed Atreyu. Uh, this is Atreyu's The Curse, my absolute favorite of theirs. Again, I have all of them, but this this is what this is my favorite. Um, my favorite songs on this are Bleeding Mascara, Right Side of the Bed, The Remembrance Ballad, uh, Five Vicodin, Chase with a Shot of Clarity, of course. Another one of mine, brand new ones just came out. Aesop Rock. How can you go wrong with the with the uh, with the Impossible Kid? Everything on this is absolute fire, from rings to dorks to get out of the car to tough to water tower to molecules. Amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, on this one, though, I do want to show some things. It comes with, to a 24-page poster. comes with a card. Sorry, guys, you can't have the download card. I collect them. And then this is how each one of the pages look. One's green, one's purple. Here's one of the purple colors of, of it. Here's the green color to it. Absolutely amazing, amazing rap. Uh, I suggest if you haven't heard the new Aesop Rock, then you should... Stop what you're doing right now and go listen to it because it will not be disappointing if you're into uh, intellectual rap is what I like to call it. Rap that doesn't just sing about killing people. Rap that actually uh, has some good valid points to it that actually has very touching and moving lyrics 
that are not just, oh, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to run up in your grandmother's house and set your dog on fire and none of that, none of that Meek Mill, Beanie Siegel, wannabe, make the game bullshit that's going on, none of that. The stuff that you see that's on The Breakfast Club with Charlemagne, none of that. Uh, amazing stuff, though. Uh, next up, Casey Strain with... I know it looks like Coma Witch, but this is first above and below 7-inch. Absolutely love this. And the color of it, I got this color variant of it, red. And then Coma Witch, one of my absolute favorite Acacia Strain albums. I think every, I think Casey Strain would probably be my favorite deathcore band per se, if that's the way you would want to label it. Comes out with on this purple right here. Let's see if you can see it a little bit better, but it's purple and it's marbly, and the other one's the same exact color. Oh no, the other color is green and marbly, just like. Uh, just like the cover to this is. I'll fix that in a moment. And then I have one more to show you. The KSC Strains. Death is the only mortal. This is the pop out. Then it says death is the only mortal. I will rise again. And it's got the lyric sheet. And then it comes on this pink vinyl. Now, that'll be the updates for today. Sorry, I ran through it very quickly. I usually do it a lot slower, but again, with the times, I'm not too sure how that works yet. And uh, you'll be seeing more of me, like I said. Hit the subscribe button if you have any questions. Feel hesitant to ask. Uh, and again, like I said, uh, shout out to everyone that has turned me on to collecting vinyl and that has made me want to become a collector more so and support the music more than just hitting a download file because it's really cool to have these in physical forms uh and again uh sean pizza Graham, your package will be out soon i know i keep saying it buddy and i know it's almost christmas time but uh at christmas time but halloween time but uh yeah i will be getting it out to you Hopefully tomorrow. Uh, I've got, it's already in the packages and everything like that. Uh, I sent you a few different things that you had asked for. Uh, so I hope you like it. But uh, I will uh, I will be back on again soon with some more updates and some more stuff like that. Have a good day.